here. So I'm just down here in my base, my, in my sump. Uh, I just noticed that my uh, filter socks need to be cleaned. So I'm just going to show you what I do for my process of cleaning my filter sock. All right, guys? I noticed my filter sock is starting to overflow. Um, I have everything going in there. I got my, uh, my UV sterilizer. It's pumping into there. And I have my, uh, my supply DRS reactor, the GFO and uh, active carbon, so you, it goes in here as well. So I see I have everything, everything feeds into this. So you see how it's a little black in there? It's just from the carbon. So everything flows into that, but I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my uh, my filter sock. I just got my filter sock. Yeah, there's my two inch return. You can see how much glow I got coming from my main display upstairs. Let me show you guys that. Uh, so yeah, so I just got my, I got my filter sock in here. It's pretty dirty, not much water's coming through. It's just black because of my uh, active carbon I have going through here. So I'll show you guys what it, this is before, and I'm gonna show you an after what it looks like. Guys, yeah, so my basement. This is just my sink, just for uh, washing out my filter socks and anything that's got to do with my aquariums. Um, you can see there's a little bit of rust because of all the salt all the time. So here we go. I got my filter sock. It's pretty dirty. What I usually do is I just turn the hot water on, and I use I got a garden hose hooked up to the the spout and I just clean this puppy out. Just slowly just keep working it. I'm not big into using chemicals to clean this out. I have a few different filter socks that I exchange and clean. I'm thinking about my next my next purchase, I'm gonna just gonna buy a washing machine just for in the basement. Just for uh, washing out my filter socks. But you can see the dirt, the dirt coming out of here. Gotta clean it up real nice. Filter socks are really nice to keep so your water well polished and any debris getting into your sump. You don't have any decay or that's you can keep it clean, not have any uh, debris in your sump. I like to try to run a clean sump as much as I can. So you just keep cleaning this out. Use a high pressure on really hot, hot water. This is black because I run active carbon through here. So you can wash with the active carbon, but clean the inside. I'm not really, I'm not into using bleach or chemicals or running it through the washing machine. I don't think that's pretty natural by just doing that. I don't know, it could be going into a repaint. That's my opinion, but everybody does everything differently. So I'm just going to turn this inside out. I'm just going to dump this out. Turn this inside out. And then spray it from the other way. Clean it both ways. It's just really black because they act carbon. The active carbon helps take any odors out and really, really polishes the water so it looks crystal clear. Makes a big difference. So, this is how I clean my filter saw. You see the pressure coming out of, coming out of the hose? It works really, really well. Just keep cleaning it. Just take your time. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. gets near this sink. But I think my purchase I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy one of those small apartment uh, washing machines. Hook it up to my, hook it up to this system here. And then I can just throw, you know, five or six or seven filter socks in the wash at a time, no chemicals. Alright, so that's it. Now I'm just going to drain, just uh, twist this out, take as much water as possible. The water's really hot, my hands, jumping. Do that, turn her back inside out. 
There we go. Do that, give her another twist on the other side. Get as much as out. So that's how I clean my filter socks. So now she's good to go. I'm gonna put that right back in my tank again and uh, go from there. Guys, so I just reinstalled my uh, filter sock. She's good and cleaned out now. She'll be good for a couple more days. But definitely, it makes a big difference. Keeps your water well polished. No debris, you know, it catches all the debris. And it makes a big difference keeping your sump clean and all that good stuff. So, you know, there we go. That's how I clean my filter sock. I clean my filter sock, guys, from FBR here. So if you like this video, you know, please subscribe, hit the like button. Please leave some comments. I'd like to answer a few of those. I don't mind at all. I like to help people out and with their tanks and stuff. So hit me up, guys. So that's how I clean my filter sock. I don't use any chemicals or anything like that. But I think my next purchase I might get would be a small uh, small washing machine and not using any chemicals, maybe a little bit of vinegar in there. But this way I can put like, you know, five or six or ten filter socks in there at a time, clean them all up, be good to go. But I just like using the garden hose hooked to the, the nozzle bib on the sink, keep my sink clean, no chemicals there at all. So that's how I clean mine, guys. So, you know, please, uh, please subscribe and hit the like button and go on to the next video.